This is a case where we have dilemma in the plans. A 90 year old gentleman with pseudo exfoliation, heart cataract, and you can see here that the zonules appear weak. Now the question is, is it too weak? Should I go for a manual scleral incision cataract extraction? Do I need to fix this back to the sclera or just CTR is enough? Now these are the usual dilemmas we have in dealing with such cases. Now here I achieved good hydrodissection and good nucleus rotation. So I thought zonules appear okay so let me just insert capsule retention ring and it should be okay right so let's go ahead now with uh, trenching the trenching appears good I do the first chop I get a crack here and as I try to rotate it further I found that the pupil goes small and rotation appears difficult so I put some iris retractors no problem now the bag looks little shaky so I already have iris hooks there so I just use the same iris hooks to support the anterior capsular rim now the support appears good the chopping and fake emulsification now looks quite easy the bag looks stable with the support of these iris hooks of course still there is a dilemma after cortex removal I want to implant the IOL now what should I do should I put the IOL in the bag or it should be in the sulcus should I fix the bag IOL in the sulcus with optic capture okay I thought that I will do that I will just put the IOL in the sulcus and do the optic capture like in IOL trap technique but here as I dial the three piece IOL I find that the zonules in the inferior part appears to have lost during the procedure uh, but still I think that uh, the rest of the sulcus is enough so I put the aisle in the sulcus and do optic capture here but after one week patient comes back and you can see the aisle is decentered and as I was suspecting during the surgery that the inferior sulcus is lost so now should I just do optic capture again no I thought that let me give a better solution to the patient so I am going to do Yamane technique I have already put the IOL in the anterior chamber luckily I have placed three piece IOL and not a single piece IOL so I can fix the same using the Yamane technique so I use the 26 gauge needle and just thread this haptic into the bore of the needle take it out and using the low thermal cautery I'll create a bulb at the end of this haptic so one end is flanged already now because of that I cannot really put the second haptic using the Yamane so I thought that let me use the Agarwal's glued haptic fixation technique here remember the bag is still intact there and it appears well supported by the CTR but because the sulcus was absent in the inferior part I have done now fixation of the haptic to the sclera one side with Yamane other side with Dr. Agarwal's technique it looks all good right at the end and that was the case so post of one week patient was 6 by 6 unedited thank you